Hey there. So as part of this uh, short video, what we'll do is explore um, the use and significance of the const keyword. Uh, all right. So let's start off with a main dot uh, C file. And what I'm going to do is simply have a function uh, main and then uh, declare int. Well, actually const int a equals to let's say one, two, three, right? So what does the const keyword mean? It means um, not that variable a here is a constant. It doesn't mean that contrary to what, uh, you know, many of the programmers I talk to believe, uh, it's, it doesn't mean a is constant. It only means that a is read only, it is to be treated read only. And what is, what is the, you know, hair splitting difference here? Well, to treat something as read only means uh, to kind of not allow modification of it, to not allow, uh, you know, modification by assignment. So you cannot use the equals to sign to change the value of that variable. And so let's then, you know, go ahead and save this. And when I try to do GCC main.c, you'll notice that, you know, the compiler complains that, hey, you're trying to modify a variable um, that is read only. It doesn't say constant, it says read only. All right. So if it is read only, can we you know, modify that variable at all? And the answer is yes. And here's how. So, uh, you know, this variable would be placed at some memory location, let's say hex, you know, 1000. And the value of this variable was one to three. And what we tried to do was when we tried to do this, we were trying to write to this memory location or assign uh, the value uh, to A and asking compiler to go modify that memory location. But the compiler said, hey, you know, you told me that A is const, meaning it's read only. So if it's read only, how can you go ahead and ask me to write a value there? So the compilation failed. But if instead we did something of this nature, and I do not recommend doing this, my point is that a const might, it doesn't mean constant, it means read only. And it's, it's important to know that difference. Okay, so if I did this and said, hey, I need another variable here, which is called p, but p stores hex 1000, which is address, or p is pointing, so to speak, to the variable a. And later, if I said, hey, you know, actually read the location that P is pointing to, which is hex 1000, and oh, by the way, go put there 333. Three, three. So in that case, we are saying, hey, take this pointer variable, it's pointing to this memory location hex 1000, and go and put 333 three, three there. So then what happened was compiler cannot cache this. Right. It, it'll kind of complain, maybe it'll complain, uh, give a warning about, hey, you know, you're trying to take address of a read-only variable and assign it to a pointer, and the pointer can, behind the scene, go and do modifications. And that is exactly what we're doing here. You're saying, hey, I, I'm not asking you to reassign A. What I'm rather asking you to do is go to this memory location, happens to be the same location as that of A, and put a new value there. And you know, that can go through in many cases. And I'm saying can go through because it depends how the operating system or the loader of the binary is going to load. And okay, what does that mean? It means that the system level during the loading, if the operating system marks this region or you know places A in memory that is to be read only, then this write fails. But if the operating system hasn't done that, then this ride will succeed. So what I'm saying is modification is possible through pointers. Whether or not it goes through uh, depends on the operating system and how the loader is marking different memory regions for the program. Okay, long explanation, but I just want to want you to be aware that const means not constant, but read only. Okay, and then let me then go ahead and you know show you a demo. So I have this program mod.c. So let me kind of rename our main.c 
uh, actually or mod.c to main.c just so that it's easy to compile you know and then let's take a look at the content so exactly the same thing that i was explaining uh, we now mark well a is a const two three one so a is right here oh, well actually let me put a here so two three one happens to be at let's say hex 1000 and then we say hey there is another variable uh, you know p p happens to be a pointer and stores the address of a which means hex 1000 and then we are saying okay printing the value of a before modification before the attempt to modification so a's value should be printed as 231 and then after that we do the sneaky business which by the way i do not recommend uh, but just to prove the point so we are then saying hey actually uh, go take a look at this memory location and well can you just put 333 there and if this goes through the value that's that gets printed here will be 333 now what happens if this doesn't go through well most likely there would be a segmentation fault or you know the program will crash the operating system will catch and report that but if it doesn't catch this meaning that this was a writable location then you know this program will work and cause side effects okay so let me then go ahead save this do gcc main.c look the compiler has given us a warning it has also mentioned hey you know i'm discarding the constness of this uh, or rather this pointer essentially discards the constness and then if i go ahead and do a dot out well you see it went through and the value of a the memory location the value in that memory cells changed and changed not as part of a direct assignment or reassignment but changed as part of some pointer black magic so again bottom line is a const is not a constant it's read only.